does it feel to disappear? Sometimes it should seem unreal. If you seriously want to live on the road, you need to get rid of your stuff. Sell it. We sold nearly everything, which meant no stuff, no bills to worry about that were left behind. And by selling our stuff, we helped fund the cost of life on the road. Everything we had left fit in this van, and that's what we kept, some keepsakes um, that we wanted to keep and some, some building materials for later on. And that was it. And that all fit in the storage unit, which is about the smallest one you can possibly get. And so it didn't really cost us much, and it allowed us to keep the things that were necessary. Uh, but that's all we had left. And everything else that was left went with us. As you can see, these were just our essentials, camping gear, cookware, uh, and the technology, computers, passports, stuff like that. Uh, all of this fit in our vehicle. The escape that we decked out made some storage components and a bed and that allowed us to keep everything that we needed and take it with. The next tip, and the biggest one, is keep your cost low, as low as possible. We did save up a little uh, before we went to live on the road, and as I mentioned, we did sell most of our stuff, which helped us raise money for the upcoming journey. <clears throat> but by all means, we didn't have a lot of money going into this. Um, the, the most important thing we actually did to make it work was keeping our costs low while on the journey. Um, and really our cost ended up being almost only food and gas, which are necessary, but at the same time, these are variable costs. We could decide how far we wanted to go, um, the types of food and the cost of food along the way, depending on our budget. We did not pay for lodging, we did not pay for water, and we didn't pay for fun and entertainment. Uh, so these are a lot of things people pay for when they go on trips or vacations that make them so expensive. Uh, this saved us tons of money and allowed us to do pretty much what we wanted. We did get a National Lands or National Park Pass, which cost somewhere around $80 uh, for a year. And this allowed us to go into national parks as well as other national lands, national monuments, wildlife refuges, things of that nature, um, for no cost. Uh, that was totally worth it for us. So I'd recommend getting one of those if you're going on a trip like this. It's, you know, I don't know, like $20 or more sometimes to get into a park per day. So it ends up really being worth it once you get on the road and you spend a lot of time in these really neat places. So uh, that's the one thing I would say to get. So now here are some of those things to consider when you are going to live on the road. Here's how we saved money and made a journey like this possible.
So go on bleeding to the core. the whole mountain to ourselves. Not a bad way to start the day. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a great day. <laughs>